Good afternoon, Cubes of the Cash. Gary V, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, we have another retro cover rewind coming your way. And today we're featuring two characters, two really small series, uh, Anthro and Kong the Untamed. And you'll find out how they're related later. Uh, first, though, let's start out with the cover. Uh, Anthro is a character created by Howie Post. And, of course, I'll have covers and um, artist faces over here for you. But as we like to do on this show... Uh, particularly we just want to showcase the spectacular artwork done by others and because uh, art the cover is the first thing you see when you go to purchase a book it's what drives you in uh, the stories keep you with the book but that first image always leaves an imprint all right so and this is a fantastic image right here this is the first appearance of anthro and this is from dc showcase presents issue number 74 and a great howie post cover there and a, just a spectacular intro to this character. Um, there is humor, uh, but they also go to great lengths to keep it kind of accurate for the times. Like, uh, he's a caveman, so you will see him fighting different beasts, but beasts that would be populated in that world. You won't see him fighting dinosaurs or anything like that that didn't exist alongside them. So, there we go. So, great cover there by Howie Post. Now, all the Anthros are complete Howie Post Productions. Uh, this says DC Superman National Comics, a little circle. Just bringing your attention to it because it was neat for a time. And uh, this is issue number one, The Battle of the Sexes. And you see Anthro on there. And um, you see him being pursued by a woman on a woolly mammoth. And just a funny issue. And uh, I don't want to spoil anything that happens. A lot of fun. Now, these... <clears throat> you can pick up rather cheap. Uh, this isn't an expensive series by far, but it's a hidden gem. It's a really good series. All right, and then we have issue number two. Again, Howie Post. I love the perspective on this one, Apes or Men. And you see our hero, Anthro, with his young brother, and he is just making sure that nothing is going to happen to him, and he's there to protect them. Uh, so great Howie Post cover. Love the blue in the background. I love the perspective of the the ape men up above about to hurl rocks down on Anthro and his brother. Um, next up, we have issue number three. And we'll show you, this is the better looking cover. And this is just another great one. What evil lurks outside? And you see them in their cave. Again, Anthro and his brother peering outside, wondering what they're going to have to do battle with. Now, like I said, um, this actually has through storylines throughout these issues, which are really good. Uh, it's also mixed with humor. Uh, a lot of family humor. I would describe it kind of like Honeymooner Styles humor. Um, with uh, each sex making fun of the other. Because uh, Anthro lives with his mom, his brother, his dad, and their mother-in-law. and So his grandmother. Another great cover here. Love the perspective here. Again, Howie Post. This is issue number five. And she is about to sacrifice his brother. And you see Anthro just on the way to save him. And if this doesn't make you want to look inside and see what's going to happen, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's good stuff. So great cover there. Next up, we have issue number five. Probably the one I have in the roughest shape. i got to get an upgrade at some point. And this is called River of No Return. And you see a bunch of bears, and you see Anthro in the river unconscious. So he's not having a good time. Great Howie Post cover again. Now, coming up, the last issue of the series, The Marriage of Anthro. And you kind of see uh, the two uh, cave women, kind of Betty and Veronica style, fighting over uh, Anthro. Kind of like he's the Archie sitting in the back. And uh, either way, he's not going to lose, right? Or is he? But uh, had to read to find out, right? Uh, great cover. And uh, it's too bad this series only went six issues. Now, the next series, Kong the Untamed, is related to Anthro because Kong, uh, this character, is a direct descendant of Anthro. Now, I haven't dipped into this series yet, so I, can't t I don't know yet if it has the same kind of humor or not or if it's a more serious thing. I would guess by the covers it might be more serious. But, I mean, some of these look serious. So we have first issue, 
uh, great orange background. This is Bernie Wrightson, so already an incredible artist there. And uh, just great stuff. And then next up, we have another uh, Bernie Wrightson cover. And you see Kong next to the fireplace with a bunch of people coming up from behind him. And luckily, I got these all in near mint shape. All right, and then you have issue number three. And this is a David Wenzel and Bill Drop cover. And you do see dinosaurs on this one. So, makes you wonder. I'm kind of curious what happens here. Looks like they just created a whole new universe. So, I, I would say it's probably loosely attached to um, Anthro or that, or they just decided to change it up. But, I will be reading this to find out. Alright, then, cover number four, and this is just Bill Drop by himself. So, great cover. A lot of fun. And uh, I just love the old battle scenes. And then you have number five, which is David Wenzel and Bill Draw again. So a lot of good oranges in this series. So another great uh, battle cover with some aerial fighting going on. And that was the end of that. But then you had a standalone um, tale of Anthro in 2010. In DC Universe Holiday Special One Shot from 2010, uh, cover by Matt Foley, and the first story in here was a solo adventure uh, with um, Anthro. So, and he had his brother and his family, of course. But good little standalone tale. Uh, the writer of this one kept it pretty much in the same spirit, so it felt like an Anthro story. So it was a it was a joy to. Uh, have a little bit of Anthro back and uh, read them so many years after his original title. But that's it for the covers today, guys. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy taking a look at Anthro and Kong? Um, and, of course, a great list of artists there. Uh, these I'm having a lot of fun with. And if you're enjoying them, please check out the playlist, Retro Cover Rewind, and look at the other books that I've done in the series. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep it casual.